Hello and welcome to Eyelashes 101. Uh, I've had friends ask me once they noticed that I was um, using a lot of false lashes if I could make a video on how to use false lashes and apply them. Um, so I said, sure, why not? Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, when I first started doing makeup, I thought, eh, I'm never going to do false lashes or whatnot because I had a few wild ones for like just well you know I never thought I could get the hang of it but I did get the hang of it and now I wear them quite often um usually like just more like dramatic ones just to add like a lot more black to the look but I do have like my wild like my big purple ones and all that now I'm just getting all different types of styles to use for my more outrageous looks but I thought this would still be a helpful video for anybody no matter what kind of makeup you have I will say first let me take off my glasses <laughs> it, it's always good to have some practice ones um like wet and wild these um, have a nice thin band pardon the dust on it um, they have a nice thin band and they're really good cheap ones for beginning just to use as to get used to applying false eyelashes because the band is um it's very thin but it's also very bold so you can actually see it to apply the glue it's very easy i wouldn't use the glue that it comes with um everybody keeps using duo and then they have to wait for it to dry i use salon perfect uh just the brush on. It's clear, dries clear. It, like, you still have to wait for it to dry, but it's like not nearly as long as the duo. Like, you can just go and wave it around a little bit in just maybe 30 seconds or so. It's ready to pop on your eye. But these Wet n Wild ones, I think they're only like, they're great to learn with because they're just so cheap. Um, I think they're like, I want to say 60 something cents at um, Walmart. Uh, I don't know how much they'd be at another store, but for less than a dollar, if you grab a couple pairs of these and just practice to get used to it. So these would be really helpful. Just an FYI. My personal favorites lately are just Ardell Doubles. I'm going to be using these because I love the band on there. It's subtle, but it adds definition. And also, since it's doubled, it's like basically two layers on top of each other. So it adds like a lot more oomph to the eyes. That's why I like it. Maybe though, I'm going to just use the Wet n Wilds just for the purposes of this video. So it'd be easier for you to spot because they do look fake as all get out. Because if you put these on, it's going to be obvious that you're wearing false eyelashes. But like the Ardells that I just showed you. Mmm. Mmm. Like they do look natural-ish, but you know nobody ain't got eyelashes like that. So. So what you do is first. Like, usually I put it on after I put on the mascara and everything. And I'm basically done with my look. And I always save it for last. Take them off. It's kind of sticky on its own. Sometimes you can put it on and see if you need to trim it. Because that's the first thing you do. But usually I don't have to trim. If it's a small lash like this, like the Ardells, I don't have to trim. Let me zoom you guys in. I don't think I'm going to have to trim this. So what we're going to do... Okay. Now, just apply the thin layer. I 
the way I look at it is like just have like little like a just like the way like you would see like dew on a leaf that's what I want that's what you want it to look like along the band now I use usually since I've gotten used to it I use my fingers but if that's all complicated you can use tweezers to hold it if you need to see a little bit better it's also good to use the um, tweezers if you're getting like the inner corner inside. So now, usually what I do is hold your head back and look down and put it directly above. I'm doing it again. This is a swall. <laughs> but easy peasy lemon squeezy. But my inner corner is still not completely down. There we go. Kind of obviously fake, but I mean, it's 60 cents. What you expect them? And also to help, I guess, blend it in with your natural lash. This dude helps a lot. Just gently comb. That helps a whole lot. <laughs> Let's see the difference. Just practice. Practice makes perfect. And it's not as hard as people uh, think it is, though. Once you've done it a few times, you'll get used to it. It's supposed to look just like dewdrops. Lean back the head. Lean forward. That in the corner. Stay. You lost it. It has been focusing on my mirror this whole time. Dad gummit. Well. Hopefully you still got to see all that. This inner corner keeps flipping up. Ugh. Still pretty good for 60 cents. I mean, come on. But just keep doing that. Lean your head back. Lean your head back. And just like put your finger. It helps to put the finger right in the middle of where the lash goes. And just put the middle with the middle and just boop. 
and then arrange the corner. That's how I do it anyway. But that. That's how you do falsies. Sorry about my throat. It's a little bit eh, because um, I've been sick lately. But uh, hopefully I still was able to speak clearly enough for you to understand me. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. Yeah.